and gentlemen, I am Lada Goodwin and you are watching Lada X Annie. So today, I am here with my third instalment of the Romeo and Juliet series and this uh, tackles the start of Act 2, so from the prologue in Act 2 to Scene 3. Now old desire doth in his deathbed lie, and young affection gapes to be his heir, that fair for which love groaned for and would die, with tender Juliet matched, is now not fair. Now Romeo is beloved and loves again, alike bewitched by the charms of looks, but to his foes supposed he must complain, and she steals love's sweet bait from fearful looks. Being held a foe, he may not have access to breathe such vows as lovers use to swear, and she is much in love, her means much less to meet her new beloved anywhere. But passion lends them power, time means to meet, tempering extremities with extreme sweet. So that is the prologue and it's just a short sonnet describing the love between Romeo and Juliet, the hatred between their families and how that, that actually makes it difficult for them to find a time and a place to meet and essentially let their love grow but they're determined to overcome the obstacles to actually let their love flourish. Now on to scene one. Here it is, the famous balcony scene. I mean this could legit be a video on its own but Basically, Romeo feels like he can't go home without finding the lovely Juliet. So he does the only thing he can think of. Climb a bloody wall that borders the Capulet property. Juliet appears at her window, which helpfully has a balcony attached to it, and this is where Romeo starts his really shite flirting. But soft, what light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Which basically means, but wait, what's that light over there? Oh my god, it's the east and Juliet is the sun. Throughout this scene, we see Romeo's shite flirting continue. He basically keeps swearing his love on inanimate objects, himself and the moon, which Juliet points out can move so love can change. This she also shows that Juliet is having absolutely num none of it, which 100% shows the maturity level and the maturity difference, which I think I've mentioned before, the complete difference between the maturity level in Juliet and the maturity level in Romeo. Also, this scene gives us the most misquoted line in the whole of Shakespeare universe. The line is... Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Which actually means, why? Are you Romeo? Not where are you Romeo? Which a lot of people think it is. If you read the context of the actual little bit, you'll see that she's actually saying, but a name is not a hand or a foot and blah, blah, blah. She's talking about it and it makes more sense if you realize that. Anyway, back to Juliet. She basically feels that Romeo's love will prove inconstant or false. And when Romeo starts swathing, she feels like it's moving too fast. So once again, she may only be 13, but her maturity levels like skyrocket Romeo's and he's 16. Once Romeo confesses his love again, only then does Juliet confess her love again and says she'll send someone to him tomorrow to see if his love is honourable and if he intends to wed her. Juliet then goes back inside and Romeo goes to find a monk to help him. Now on to scene two. Enter Friar Lawrence. When Friar Lawrence sees Romeo, he suspects that Romeo, because he looks like he hasn't slept, that Romeo slept in sin with Rosalind the night before. Romeo tells him about Juliet and Friar Lawrence is very surprised at the sudden shift between Rosalind and R Juliet and then he comments on the fickleness of young love, Romeo's in particular. This once again shows the maturity levels between Romeo and Juliet. It shows that Romeo has before maybe Rosalind been going between love and love and obviously Friar Lawrence who's a friend of the family has seen it and has been like mate what are you doing you do this all the time it's probably not real love. Still skeptical about the love even though Romeo has tried to defend himself Friar Lawrence consents to marry him. He actually hopes that the marriage will end the feud between the families. Now on to scene three. In this slightly filler scene we find out that Tybalt has sent a letter to Romeo challenging him to a duel. Then Mercutio and Benvolio also come in and take the mick out of Romeo because obviously he didn't come home the night before. And then finally the nurse comes in and Romeo asks her to get Juliet to confession that afternoon at Friar Lawrence's cell as they will be married. 
the nurse agrees and also to, agrees to set up a cloth ladder so Romeo can go to Juliet's room and spend their wedding night together. And that is it! That was a very quick fire right through the whole thing. There you go. Thought I'd do that for you. Just quick, 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 fire round. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I vlogged yesterday and I'm going to be vlogging a lot this kind of month so if you want to see my vlogs it'll be linked down below and also go subscribe go watch my vlogs this should be fun and also join me on Thursday for my Mary's character arc which I'm dreading to do but I'm gonna do it for you guys so I will see you on Thursday bye